was born in the parish of uh, Freguesia, the, the Gloria, Nossa Senhor da Gloria. I went there uh, about 30, 33 years ago when my son, my first son was one year old, and I went to the church of Nossa Senhora da Gloria, na Praça do Machado, and I got a birth certificate born there, issued by the church that proved that I really was baptized there. <laughs> and showed that you were born on September 9th, I guess. Yeah, I was born on September 9th, not September 10th. But my father forgot to record me. He just went the next day. So, and when your father moved the family, um, well, when you moved back with your mother, where did you live uh, then? Did you live? We went to the village where my parents were born, called Caria, in the Conselho de Moimenta da Beira and uh, district of Viseu. We, yeah, we lived there that? five years. Could you spell that? Caria, C as in Charles, A R I A. And then, and you stayed there until you I, were about I nine was years nine. old. And, uh, and then you moved, when your father came to Lisbon, you moved to Lisbon. He brought all the family to Lisbon. So I went to school in Lisbon. And uh, what was your education like? Well, I went to grammar school. I, I had attended two years of grammar school in the village. And then I finished two years more in, in Lisbon. Then I went to a Escola Comercial, Vega Beirão, complementary course. <coughs> it was four years. And the last year you had to make algebra, uh, physics, and chemic. And then if you got uh, uh, the mark of 14, you would go to uh, Institute Comercial Lisboa, that's the equivalent of college year, where I studied during four years. At the same time, I attended the British Institute, and then a private college because I like English language and French. And I started working when I was 18 in the British consulate during the war. And after the war was over, uh, it was transferred to the Bank of London in South America, and another British bank. I, uh, I was invited by the, the foreign office. <coughs> I mean, my, my boss, John McBride, if you want to go to London, you can, I was 22. If you go to London, you have to become a British subject because they have, they have a monarchy. And you follow on the foreign office. And after you <coughs> take a uh, course and experience here in London, you uh, are going to work in uh, Portuguese-speaking countries, or Portugal, or Angola, or Mozambique, or Brazil. As a bilingual Yeah, person. so, but my father says, no, no, you, you are 22, I am traveling, you are the oldest, you have to stay back home. So I got the job in the British Bank. <laughs> And I worked there 10 years, and after 10 years, in October 1955, I came to California. Do you have many memories, of going back uh, to your mother, of your mother working in, in the cannery? And her coming home very tired. At that time when they worked in the cannery, it was uh, no unions, no nothing. And they'd work 14, 15 hours a day and a bunch of water up to their knees. Did she work just uh, seasonally or did she work? Seasonal, seasonal. She worked in the summer. Seasonal, yeah. And uh, did she talk about it at all, the experience? No, not too much. Did uh, she complain at all? Yeah, she was tired and they, they, it was sloppy work in there. And at that time when they were working in the cannery, it was like in bins, you know? And the fruit would come down in bins, and then that fruit would sit there, and you'd kind of rot in their stuff. Then you'd have to keep your hands in the water all day, and things have really changed now. But uh, that's the way it was in the cannery. Yeah. It was a dangerous work, too. It was like very, yeah. yeah. You could catch a death of cholera, pneumonia, whatever. Right. And uh, machinery. Was and the machinery wasn't, wasn't up to par, either. Yeah. 
Yeah, and very and, little machinery. And uh, this was Del Monte, Del Monte Plant 35. Plant 35. And uh, after you married, you uh, did, and dropped out of high school. Did you go to work uh, soon after? Yes. Mm -hmm. I went to work in 1942. In the cannery? In the Almighty cannery. In the same one? In the same one. And did you find it any different than oh, yes. your mother? Yes, I did. Had? Yes, yes. It was more modern. And then we had union, and the work was better. And the wages were better. Were, were you paid by the hour or piece Well, work? we got piece work, and then we got paid by the hour at 33 cents an hour. So you had a combination of the yeah. two. Yeah, depending on what you was what she was doing. When your mother worked, did she work uh, piecemeal? Yeah, she had piecework. Piece they were work. all piecework. And do you know when that changed and why no, or how it changed? No, I don't. Did the union have? Do you think had some effect? Well, on when that? the union went in, they changed a lot. Yeah. What were some of the things that you, uh, that you think the union did? Well, they we got better wages. We got more machinery for safety, and we got uh, promoted to do different things <coughs> places in the plant. The, uh, can you describe a, a typical day in the cannery, what, what it was like, what time you got to work, and uh, what you did? Well, we started about 6.30, and we left about 4.30. And we did uh, uh, made fruit cocktail, and we made nice peaches and uh, pears canning, uh, 